This is part one of lesson 11-4, areas of regular polygons and composite figures. So in this first video, we're gonna focus on the area of a regular polygon, and there's a formula that they give us. So the regular polygon formula, the area, is area equals one half the apothem times the perimeter. So remember a polygon is a shape, um, a closed figure, closed two dimensional figure made up of straight sides. And if it's a regular polygon, it means that all of the sides are equal length. They're congruent, right? So they drew this circle around, but we're really looking at this pentagon here. This is a polygon. And the perimeter is the distance around the outside. And we know one of these, if we know the length of one, we just multiply it times however many sides there are because in a regular polygon, they're all the same length. So if this was 10, we'd multiply 10 times five and that would give us a perimeter of 50. And then the apothem is basically the distance from the center of your shape out to one of the sides of your shape. It's perpendicular and it's that distance. So the distance from A to side RS this is an apothem, it's perpendicular to the side. That length is the apothem, so you need to know that. So they're gonna give us some information. We have to figure out the rest. I will warn you, it's a little bit of a doozy. You gotta recall a lot of, a lot of information. You need to recall um, trigonometry. So Sokotoa, do you guys remember that? Sokotoa. Trigonometry is whenever we mix um, angle measures and side measures. If you have an angle measure, you can look for the length of a side using trigonometry or vice versa. So Sokotoa is our little shortcut. Sine is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent. So I wrote that down just as a little quick refresher, recall. And then also I want to remember um, um, special case uh, right triangles. So a 45, 45, 90 that has equal uh, leg lengths and equal 45 degree um, angles there. And it's a right triangle and the two legs are the same length, and the hypotenuse is the length of the leg times the square root of two. And then when I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, so let's say um, here, boom, this is 90. Let's say this is 60 degrees. This one is 30 degrees, because it's smaller. Here, the smallest leg is x, the hypotenuse is just double the short leg. And then the long leg is the weird one in the middle. And you just multiply the short leg times the square root of three. Okay, so recall all of that. You can go way back in the videos if you want to kind of freshen up on that lesson. But you are going to need to use all of that for today's lesson. On this video, we're going to go over six problems. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this first one. Um, here, number one. Okay, so it says find the area of each regular polygon round to the nearest tenth. So we are rounding to the nearest tenth, and it does tell us that they are all regular. So all the sides of each of these shapes are congruent to each other. Okay, so that's important that we know that. And I'm going to use separate paper to do my work here. All right, so for number one, first thing we have to do in every single shape is figure out what's the apothem link length and what's the perimeter, right, of my shape. Um, so recall that our formula is one half the apothem times the perimeter, okay? So first I wanna figure out um, perimeter, that's the easiest. So I know one side is 14 and I know it's regular, so all the sides are the same length. So that's 14 times three, which is 42. And that's in meters. So there's my perimeter. Now I wanna figure out the apothem. The apothem is the tricky one that you're gonna to have to use trigonometry or special case triangles or whatever, okay? So follow me here. All right, how, if all I know is that the length of one side is 14 meters and that this bad boy right here is a right triangle, what now? Okay, I can figure out the measure of this angle. Since there are three of these, in this triangle, it goes to each corner and there's three corners. I know that these central angles, there's three of them, right? So this is going to create a central angle. And so all I'm gonna do to figure out the measure of this whole thing is take 360, which is add all these up, that's 360, and divide it by three, because there's three of these. So 
360 divided by three gives me 120 degrees for this whole thing. And then if I use the apothem, that's perpendicular, so it bisects everything. This is congruent to this. This angle is congruent to this angle. So if the whole thing's 120, then one of these is 60 degrees. So I'm gonna put a little arrow and put 60 degrees. Okay, if this is 60 and this is 90, that means this guy right here has to be 30, right? So now I've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, I know that the whole entire bottom is 14, so half of that would be seven. And I know that this angle up here is 60, this angle is 30, and this is my long leg. This is the weird one, right? So how can I go from, I need to know this apothem link right here, from the center, straight perpendicular down to my side. I need to figure this out. So if the short leg times the square root of three gives me the long leg, then how do I go backwards? I'm gonna divide by the square root of three. I know this measure, I'm gonna divide by square root of three to get this guy. So I'm gonna divide seven by the square root of three. Seven divided by square root of three. And I can't leave it like this, right? So I can change it, or since it tells me to put my answer in tenths, the round to the nearest tenth, I'm just gonna leave it in decimal form. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, do, let's see, square root of, no, I wanna go ahead and change it. I'm gonna multiply this by square root of three times square root of three, which gives me this guy right here. Now, that's easier for me to figure out. Square root of three times seven, whatever that is, I can divide by three. Okay, square root of three times seven and I need to divide that by three, boom. There's the length of my apothem, 4.04. .04. And I'm gonna round to the nearest 10th, so that's just four. So the apothem is four meters. Okay, so once I have that, then I just go back up in here and plug it into my equation. One half, four times the perimeter, which is 42. Okay, so then I just multiply four times 42 and divide by two. and I get about 84, and that's area. So I get 84, and it's in meters, so 84 square meters, about 84 meters squared. Make sure when you're doing the work that you're showing all of this to me somewhere. Even if it can't fit on your worksheet and you just wanna give me a separate sheet of paper, I still gotta see it. Don't do all that work and not get credit for it. Turn this in if you do it. All right, number two. Um, we have a pentagon, a five-sided shape, right? So I want to know the uh, apothem and the perimeter. Perimeter we can figure out because one side's 10 and there's five of them. So five times 10 is 50. And then for the apothem, this is where I need to use some math. Um, I am going to, since this is a triangle and there's actually five of these, right? And it's a regular shape, so all of these five triangles are gonna be the same measure of these central angles. So 360 divided by five gives me what? 72, I think. Yeah, 72. So this entire angle is 72, and then it's cut in half by the apothem. So 72 divided by two is 36. So the measure of this top angle right here is 36 degrees. I'll put it over here, I don't have room. This guy right here. Okay, I know that since this is the apothem and this is 10, that this side is five. I know this is five. What I don't know is this. This is my apothem, this is what I wanna know. From this angle, which I know it's 36 degrees, I have the opposite side and I need to know the adjacent side. So opposite over adjacent, I have my angle, that's tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So for my work here, I'm gonna say, to find the length of this side, if I know this is 36 degrees, I'm gonna use tangent. Tangent of 36 equals opposite over adjacent. Five is the opposite, I don't know the adjacent, that's what I'm solving for five over x. So now I have enough to solve for the length of the apothem, and once I have that, it's easy to find the area. 
Okay, first thing I want to do is get x by itself, so I'm going to multiply both sides by x. Boom, boom, these cancel. And then I have got x times the tangent of 36 equals 5. I want to get x alone, so I'm going to divide by tangent of 36. And I'm going to have to do the same thing over here, divided by tangent of 36. So I end up with x equals 5 divided by tangent of 36. Okay, so my calculator, first thing I'm going to do is figure out the tangent of 36. 36 tan. Just hit my tan button. And I get 0.72654, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to keep as many of those numbers as possible in my head just to keep everything accurate. So I'm going to kind of go with 0.7265. So this is 5 over 0 0.7265. And then when I divide that, 5 divided by 0.7265 equals about 6.88, which I can round to 6.9. So it's about 6.9. So my apothem here, little a, is about 6.9 inches. Once I know that, then I can figure out my um, area, right? I just do area equals 1 half the apothem times the perimeter, which we said was 50. Okay, so then in my calculator, I'm going to multiply 6.9 times 50, and then all of that divided by 2, or times 0.5, same thing. 6.9 times 50 divided by 2, 172.5-ish, about 172.5. That's going to be my area, so about... 172.5, and that's in square inches, right? Easy enough. Not, not super difficult, but you do have to use some kind of weird rules that we learned early on. You're pulling from the vault, right? Got to go back in there and think about it. Okay, next we have a square. All of these sides are 15, so I know the perimeter equals 15 times 4, which is 60, and that's in inches. And then I want to figure out the apothem, right? So I know that this bottom side is 7.5. This is 90 degrees. It looks like a 45, 45, 90. Um, all these corners are, and it's a square because all the sides are the same. All these corners are 90 degrees. Since all the sides are the same, it's a 90 degree corner. This diagonal bisects the corner, which makes this a 45, 45, 90, right? So one side is half of 15, which is 7.5. That means this side has to be seven and a half. So my apothem is 7.5 inches. I didn't have to do anything fancy there. So area equals one half the apothem times the perimeter. And then just use your handy dandy calculator. 7.5 times 60 divided by two, 225. And that's in square inches, about 225 inches squared. Another easy way to figure it out is just 15 times 15, right? That's our, our square, area of square, boom. You don't have to do the rest of this. But if we're using the whole apothem thing, it's a good way to kind of check ourselves. We know a square is easy. Okay, now we don't have any more squares. So here we've got a hexagon, okay? Um, it tells us the apothem, so that makes it easy. But we have to figure out this length to figure out this side, to figure out the perimeter, right? So if this has six triangles, this central angle, there's six of them, thir uh, 360 divided by six equals 60 degrees, right? This whole central angle is 60 degrees, and then it gets cut in half by the apothem, which makes it 30 degrees. So this is a 30, 60, 90, right? Triangle, 30, 60, 90. So um, where was the other? Oh, that was a 60. Okay, sorry. I was looking at number one. I'm like, I know we've done this before, but I, this is my first hexagon. The triangle was a 30, 60, 90. If this is 30, this is the short side. The short side times the square root of three equals the long side. So if I divide this by the square root of three, I get five for the short side. And that's just this length. So one entire side is 10. And there's six of those, one, two, three, four, five, six. So my perimeter is six times 10, which is 60, and that's in centimeters. And then my apothem 
is five square root of three centimeters. So area equals one half, five square root of three times 60. And then I just put that in my calculator. Uh, square root of three times, what did I say, five times 60 divided by two. 259.8, if we round to the nearest tenth, 259.8. So about, two, oh, why did I put a five? 259.8, and that's in square centimeters. This was garbage, sorry. Centimeters squared. Okay, I hope this is making sense. Next one, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, an eight-sided shape. What's that called? octagon good job so here we know this measure of this angle up here um, the central angle there's eight of those right so 360 divided by eight is 45 and then the apothem cuts that in half so 45 divided by 2 is 225 or 20 sorry 22.5 so this angle up here is 22.5 i need to know the apothem this guy, right? So I have the opposite side. It's going to be half of 10, which is 5. This side is 5 inches. I have the angle, 22.5. I have the opposite side. I do not have the adjacent side. So I'm going to use tangent. Tangent of 22.5 equals opposite over adjacent, 5 over x. And we're going to solve it just like we did that last problem. Multiply both sides by x, divide both sides by tangent. So we'll have x equals 5 over tangent of 22.5. Okay, tangent of 22.5 is 0.4142. 5 divided by 0.4142 equals about 12.1. About 12.1. So x is about... 12.1, our apothem, so it's not x, it's actually a. And then our perimeter, one side is 10, and there's eight sides, so that's 80. So I got my, oops, sorry, I got my apothem and my perimeter, so I can plug it into my area formula. One half apothem times perimeter. That apothem word, I think of like Gotham, like Gotham City. 12.1 times 80. Divided by 2. 484. A equals 484 square inches. Looks like an M, but it's supposed to be I and then an N. I just connected them. 484 inches squared. Okay, last one. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. You guys are doing great. All right, this is a one, two, three, four, five-sided shape, a pentagon. Um, we know the apothem is 7.5. We know one side is 10.9. So 10.9 times 5 gives us our perimeter, 54.5. And our apothem is 7.5, and all that's in meters. So A equals 1 half, 7.5 times 54.5. And we use our calculator. 204.4 if we round to the nearest tenth. So about 204.4 and that's in meters squared. All right, so any questions on how to find the area of a regular polygon, how to find the apothem, how to find the perimeter, let me know. You can go back and rewatch this video, but send me questions if you have them.